Can you hear her snoring? So I just got to the gym. There's only one other person here, so I'm going to go ahead and pop on the treadmill to get my workout in for today. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. It is currently Sunday that I'm filming today's What I Eat in a Day, and it is 7.26 in the morning. I'm still pretty sweaty. This was a pretty sweaty workout for me. I think I just walked a little bit extra fast on the Air Runner, which is a treadmill. A few of you asked me, what is an Air Runner? It's basically kind of like a self-propelled treadmill, but supposedly you burn more calories than you do on a regular treadmill, and it's better for your overall core strength and leg muscles, and apparently it's supposed to simulate running or walking outdoors. I will say that I feel like I get in a much better workout on the Air Assault Runner rather than just a traditional treadmill. I don't know if my new gym in Arizona has one of these, but I actually have grown to really love it. All I've had today so far is my coffee that you saw this morning. I am going to head home and make some breakfast for the day. I have a lot to share with you today. I have a moving update. I have a pet subscription box that we just got that is really, really fun. I also want to share my filming setup. I get a lot of questions on how how do I film? What does it look like? What do I use for ring lights? With YouTube, TikTok, Instagram being so popular, a lot of just ordinary people, whether they're content creators or not, have ring lights. And I have a really good ring light that I'll share with you. Just lots of updates, lots of things for you today. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you never miss a single video. I do upload about five videos a week. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching. I have personalized macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to talk with me directly. I'll link everything I share with you today and all of my other favorite things. And lastly, my Facebook group. Definitely join me there. That's how you can kind of keep up with me day to day. So I am going to head home and we'll make some breakfast. I, I have in mind what sounds really good for breakfast this morning. Mommy's home from her workout. Let's get our treats. Good job. Here you go, buddy. Good boy. Here, honey. Good job, everybody. much packed everything so I'm making my breakfast in a pan here I'm doing one egg and one slice of the carb master bread from Kroger I did spray a little bit of spray butter to crisp it up on the bottom I'll just pop my piece of cheese on top of my egg and I'm going to make kind of a makeshift open-faced sandwich so here is my breakfast for this morning I'm having one of my ocean spray diet cranberry juice I've had these for a long time I'm trying to use them up before we move. They're actually really good. They are zero points, 10 calories per container. And then I have my little open-faced sandwich. So one slice of the Carb Master bread, one egg, and one slice of full-fat sharp cheddar cheese. So I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen. Like I mentioned, I get asked a lot about what does my setup look like when I film videos. Obviously, we're in our current home. That will change in our new home in Arizona, but I'll give you guys kind of an update then of what the whole filming setup looks like, but honestly, it's very simple. I have my camera. I generally have a ring light and a tripod. So I just got a brand new ring light from Toner. And let me tell you that the quality of ring lights can vary drastically. The cheapy ones that you can buy on Amazon or Best Buy, they are not the best quality. They deliver more of a yellowy glow. They're not as bright. That really helps lighten up the room, lighten up your face, lighten up the products.
products that you're sharing. I especially love using a ring light in my sit down videos as well as my meal preps. It just adds that nice lighting and having a good quality ring light is super important. The toner 12 inch ring light is the most affordable ring light that you can buy and is hands down the best quality. Not only do you receive a remote to operate your ring light, which is a huge game changer, especially if your ring light is set up a bit away from you where you would have to get up to adjust it. If you film on your phone, this attachment actually is screwed into the middle of the ring light, which would then put your phone in the very middle to get the best lighting. I film on a camera, but I do keep these in case I ever need to at some point film on my phone. I have the attachment and it does expand to fit all phones. You also receive a nice storage bag for the actual tripod of the ring light. And what's really cool about this ring light is it is detachable from the tripod. So you can actually use that tripod stand as a standalone item. All cameras that you purchase, whether they're small vlogging cameras or digital cameras, use have a screw option in the bottom of the camera so that you can attach it to a tripod. So with the toner ring light, you actually receive a tripod that can be served as a dual purpose. You can use this as a tripod anytime you need to take photos or video. The tripod also goes up and down depending on how tall you want both the tripod, both your camera to be as well as the ring light. You can secure it here with this little knob and that will actually adjust whether your ring light or camera on the tripod goes forward or backwards. It's a nice sturdy tripod and a huge 12 inch ring light. To turn on the ring light, you simply press the on button. Look at how bright that is. And these little buttons here, you can actually adjust the lighting of the ring light so you can make it brighter or more dim. You can also adjust the coloring of the light. So if you want a little bit more amber toned lighting, blue toned lighting, somewhere kind of in the middle, a little bit dimmer, it will adjust the lighting tone as well as the brightness. You can manually make the light brighter or dimmer. Now, generally when I film, this is the lighting that I prefer, that bright white lighting. Let me put the ring light here in front of me and adjust it down. So you can see how bright it makes me. It does dim the background. So I always have additional lights in the background. It also comes with an instruction manual. I know for me that I need to read this to make sure that I'm operating it correctly, but I will tell you that it is very, very simple to use. It is great if you film on a camera, your phone, if you're just starting out on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, or you want to, having a ring light is a huge, huge game changer. So make sure you grab the toner ring light. It is truly the most affordable and I have owned a lot of ring lights in my life and this one is absolutely the best quality. Moving update. You guys always like to see kind of where we are in the moving process. As of today, we are one week to the day before we load up the U-Haul. So most of our house is packed up other than our furniture. What we decided to do was to store most of our boxes in our second living room. This is our formal living room. We also have quite a few boxes in the garage as well from our storage room. But this is the majority of the house. All we have left to pack up are the items in the garage, our bathroom, our master bath, and then the last bit of food from the pantry and the refrigerator. But we've cleaned out all of the kitchen cabinets. All the photos are off the wall. You guys saw my closet clean out. And I guess I still have my office. I still need to take down the rest of the items in the background of my office. I'm just waiting to do that until I'm done filming, which will be this next week. So this is all I have left in here is literally just what you guys see in the background and then I'll pack all that up. So we're packed, we are ready to go. We have just the last few things that we need to wrap up this next week before we load the U-Haul. Right bud? So yeah, we gotta load the U-Haul next week. So we are just about all packed up, but I told Troy today, do not unplug my air purifier until right before we're packing the U-Haul because it makes such a huge difference in my allergies and all of the dog hair and dust and dirt we're stirring up with moving. I've shared my air purifier with you guys in the past because you know how much I love it. It's something we use every single day in our house. So I wanna share our air purifier with you guys once more, especially if you're new or you don't remember how amazing this is. You have lots of dust in your house, pets, kids. This really helps clean and purify the air. So you just turn it on. Now there are lights. They will either be a solid color or flash colors, totally up to you. You can also turn the light off by holding the little light button. 
There's the option to have it on sleep mode so that you can't hear it at all. So there's no sound anymore, but it's still purifying the air. You can also adjust the speed of the fan. So uh, we always keep it on three, which is the highest speed, but you can go down to one or two. So again, we keep it on three. You can also put it on a timer, a two hour, four hour, or six hour timer. So if you want the air purifier to turn off, it will do that automatically. And then the filter button will light up and let you know when it's time for you to change the filter. So we love it. We usually leave the light off, especially while we're sleeping, but we like the white noise that it gives as well as when it purifies and cleans the air. It's super, super nice looking and sleek. You remove the bottom silver part here and that's where the filter goes. So I will go ahead and link it down below for you guys with a discount. I'll put the discount information here on the screen and also down in the description box. Highly, highly recommend. It's the best air purifier we've ever had and super, super affordable. It is morning snack time and I'm so excited to share with you guys a brand new product from one of my all time favorite brands and actually one of your guys' all time favorite brands and that is Verb Energy. If you're not familiar with Verb, these are my favorite pre-workout, post-workout snacks. They're also my favorite little snack in the afternoon or mid-morning when I feel like I just need a little bit of a pick-me-up. They have great ingredients. Each bar is only three points, contains 65 milligrams of caffeine from green tea, so nice clean caffeine source. It's about the same amount of caffeine that's in a shot of espresso. Typically when you purchase the Verb starter pack, which is this right here, you generally get to pick one flavor. And then Verb is really sweet and throws in four or five other bars for you and four or five other flavors so that you can try out different ones, see what you like. So when you reorder down the road, you have an idea of what bars you like. Well, they just made our dreams come true and put together a sampler bag. This bag contains 15 Verb Energy Bars. You receive five of the chocolate chip banana bread, which literally tastes like banana bread. It's incredible. Five of the vanilla latte, which is one of my all-time favorite flavors, and five of my other all-time favorite flavor, and that is cookie butter. Verb will still throw in some extra bars for you so you can try some other flavors, but this pack right here is going to give you 15 bars and three different flavors. So this is brand new to Verb. The bars are 90 calories a piece, and again, they contain 65 milligrams of caffeine which is the amount in a shot of espresso so I'm going to have a verb energy bar today as my morning snack I think I'm going to have cookie butter because like I said it's one of my all-time favorites here is the size of the bar so it's a pretty good size this is what the bars look like they are so chewy and soft and delicious it smells so good it smells a lot like the Speculose cookie butter, and the texture of these bars is a mix between oat, so there's a good oaty texture and taste to them, but they're super, super moist and soft. So delicious. So this is my three-point morning snack. I will link Verb down below so that you can get your hands on this sampler pack. And wait until you hear how affordable this is. They're running a pretty big promotion with this new sampler pack. So I'll put all the information here on the screen for you and link it down below. But if you haven't tried Verb, this is your opportunity to get your hands on three amazing flavors. We are getting down to the nitty gritty in the house. So today I'm having a lunch that I've really been liking. I've actually been having it the last few days to use up what we have. So I'm going to go ahead and make up an entire can of tuna. I usually don't eat the whole can. This will last me usually two lunches. I have some light mayo and some dill relish. So I'm going to make up a tuna salad and then I do have about a serving of the Siete grain-free ranch chips. These are so delicious. I love to dip these in my tuna fish. So that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. I don't have any vegetables cooked so I'll make sure I have a veggie with dinner but let's go ahead and make up the tuna. So I've added my can of tuna, two tablespoons of light mayo and some dill relish. I may end up adding one more tablespoon of light mayo. Yes, I think that I will. I like my tuna fish a little bit more creamy. That looks perfect. And then I do like to throw it in the refrigerator for just a little bit, just to get it nice and cold. So here is my lunch. So I don't have a full serving of the chips. I have about half of a serving and then half of the tuna fish. So I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen. Let me share with you my paw pet box. They reached out to me and offered to send me this for review. We're going to see what my dogs think of the treats. I love that you get a wide variety of things every single month. Everything from treats to clothing to toys. 
all sorts of yummy dog goodness. I will go ahead and put here on the screen the cost of the monthly subscription. I will go ahead and link Paw Pet Box down in the description box for you with a discount for 20% off of all orders to give me all these goodies for my babies for review and then offer you guys 20% off. They not only have subscription boxes, but they also sell a lot of really great products for cats and dogs. So definitely check out their website, support a small business. But I think this whole family, the three dogs and myself are pretty excited to see what's in this month's box. So the first thing I see here, it looks like a tennis ball, maybe a huge tennis ball. So this is a jumbo tennis ball. You actually have to blow this up with like a bike pump. I'm going to have Troy blow it up with the device that puts air in the tires of our car. Palmer's going to love this. This ball is almost as big as Palmer. I did pull it up here on the website. It does retail for $19.99. It does come in the box, which is pretty awesome. And it says, watch the excitement on your best friend's face when you surprise them with this giant tennis ball measuring nine and a half inches. That is huge. It's made of basketball inner core with a thick felt layer. The jumbo ball will provide countless hours of fun for your pup and is perfect for the spring. I'll see if I can get Troy to blow this up today, but I have a feeling Palmer is going to be pretty excited. It looks like we also have several treats. The first one is this super cute tennis ball cookie. This looks really, really good. This is from Two Paws For You Pet Bakery. It's a homemade cookie, grain-free, baked fresh daily, made with garbanzo bean flour, sweet whey, flax, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon ginger, and love for your pet. We believe your pet should only have the best ingredients. And this retails for $3.75. Palmer is currently sleeping, so when he gets up, we will give a little piece of each of the cookies to all three dogs and see what they think. The next cookie in the pack is so cute. This is also from Two Paws For You Pet Bakery. It also retails for $3.75. This has the same ingredients as the other one. It is grain free and again, the best ingredients for your pet. This is so cute. And one more super adorable cookie from the same company, Two Paws For You Pet Bakery. This is a cute little ladybug cookie that also retails for $3.75. So we have three cookies, which is amazing. I'll tell you when we go to Leavenworth for our anniversary, these cookies can be upwards of $5 a piece. So this is quite a good value along with the tennis ball. And we still have one more item in our box. And last but not least from Sydney and Sapphire, this is a UK featured brand. This is the dog popcorn cheese flavor. And it says the cheesy one. This retails for $14.99. And it says as a dog mom to two crazy pups, I've always been on the lookout for new and tasty treats. My two dogs have always loved popcorn, and after months of research and product testing on the dogs we have, we finally mastered a perfect recipe. A healthy snack, it's 100% natural vegan dog treats, air popped with no preservatives or salt. All that's in here is air popped kernels, nutritional yeast, and coconut oil. I mean, we really truly can eat this. My dogs also love popcorn, so I know that they are going to love this. So that's everything in the Paw Pet box. This is a really fun box. Great to get every single month new toys, treats, accessories for your dogs, all healthy ingredients. I always am very mindful of what I'm buying for my dogs when it comes to ingredients in their treats. So I love that these are small businesses that are being supported. If you, When you sign up for the subscription box or buy any of the products on their website, you're also supporting their small business. So again, I'll link the Paw Pet Box down below for you with 20% off. And thank you again for sending this over for a review. So I'm going to give the dog Dogs, the treats. We'll see what they think. We'll start over here with the popcorn. And try the, oh, you like the popcorn? Popcorn? Oh, and popcorn. Actually, I'm going to save these two because these are all made from the same company, same ingredients. Ooh, there you go, bud. Give Palmer these little guys here. There you go, buddy. And Lola gets a ladybug. There you go. 
For an afternoon snack, I'm going to have a Too Good Yogurt. This is the cherry. I really like this one. It has really good cherry flavor. And then I'm going to have a serving of my homemade granola. So this is the low carb granola that I made in meal prep about a week ago, my final meal prep until we're in our new house. I add about a quarter of a cup of this to the top of my yogurt and it is such a great snack. This adds some healthy fats because it is low carb so there's no oats in this. It's all made from nuts and maple syrup. It's really, really delicious. So I'm going to have a serving of this on my Too Good Yogurt for an afternoon snack. So tonight's dinner is going to be tacos. I share that with you guys in my grocery haul. That way we're using up quite a few things that we have on hand. So the first thing I'm going to do is cook down. This is a pound of 96% extra lean ground beef. So look at all this that we're using up. So I have some mozzarella cheese, four Troy's. I'm not putting cheese on mine, I'll show you why. I have this bag of shredded green leaf lettuce, a couple of tomatoes I'm gonna chop up. I packed my taco seasoning, so I put just a little bit for tonight in a cup. A can of olives, a can of fat-free refried beans, tortillas for Troy, and then I'm doing a folio wrap. That way I don't have to add any cheese to mine. I also have some sour cream guacamole in the refrigerator. So it's naying the beans because I already packed the can opener. I have tomatoes, the olives luckily were a pull tab, and then we have the green leaf lettuce. So I'm going to start assembling the tacos. So here is what these folio wraps look like. They are the perfect size for a taco. I'm going to put some ground beef. I am going to have a couple of tomatoes and a few olives. Troy and I are actually going to share one of the avocado mash from Good Foods. So I'm going to put half on mine and he'll put half on his. And then some light sour cream. So here is my taco for tonight. Put the points and calories here on the screen. I can tell that the cheesy wrap is already getting nice and warm. So I'm going to fold it up and that will be dinner. So here's my dessert for tonight. I'm having one of the chocolate sugar-free jello pudding cups. Again, something we're trying to use up before we move. And there is the tiniest amount of the sugar-free Cool Whip left. So I am going to top my pudding cup with that and that's my dessert and my final meal of the day. Why do you do this when I'm filming? Why? It is the end of the night. I have showered, washed my hair. I'm going to head to bed so I can get up in the morning, go walk on the treadmill again. Everything today was so good. All of my food was absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. And make sure your bell is turned on so you never miss a single video. I will make sure everything I shared with you today, the Air Clear Air Purifier, the dog subscription box, and of course my ring light are all down in that description box along with nutrition coaching. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Definitely come join us over there. Thank you for watching, friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.